Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it's meal prep day. I have a breakfast, a lunch, and a dessert for you. Everything is amazing. I can't wait to share it. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I do a meal prep every Monday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where I will link my recipe website. That is where you'll find all three of today's recipes as well as all of the other recipes I've ever created are all on my website. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost 140 pounds and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability or if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite healthy things and of course come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's meal prep so that we can set ourselves up for a successful week. So for breakfast this week, I am making hash brown ham and cheese egg cups. This is going to be such a great part of breakfast. I'm going to pair this with some fruit. We're getting in some protein and I am excited for these. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need milk of your choice. You guys know I always use Fairlife for the extra protein. Salt and pepper. I will link this cute little salt and pepper holder down below for you. I actually bought this right off of Amazon. It's like $7 and it's really nice quality. Garlic powder, eggs cubed ham, light shredded cheese, and hash browns. The recipe recommends refrigerated hash browns, but Walmart didn't have them, so I bought the frozen. Just make sure that they're thawed completely. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. All of our ingredients are going into a large bowl, so this is a super easy recipe. We're going to start with 20 ounces of hash browns. This is 26 ounces, so we're going to put in almost the entire bag. I have one and a half cups of light shredded cheese. I'm putting about one cup of it in with the hash browns. Reserve a half of a cup to sprinkle on top. One cup of ham chunks, which is eight ounces. This package is 16 ounces. So I'm going to add half of the package of ham. And then we're going to crack in eight eggs. Two tablespoons of milk. some garlic powder and salt and pepper. And then you're going to just mix everything together until fully combined. Then we're going to take a big scoop and scoop our mixture into our greased muffin tin. We want 12 cups total. And then we're going to take that other half of a cup of cheese and just kind of sprinkle it right on top. The muffin cups are going into the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes or until they're cooked through and browned. So my egg cups are out of the oven. These look so good. I'm going to let them cool. I'll pop them out of the muffin pan and then I'll be back. I'll show you what they look like, give you points, calories, and macros. So here are the finished egg cups. These look absolutely amazing. They smell so good, kind of like an omelet and hash browns, like a breakfast, a complete breakfast. And like I said, I'm going to pair this with fruit. So let me go ahead and give you points, calories, and macros here on the screen. For lunches this week, I'm making turkey burgers. Now these are chipotle cheddar turkey burgers. I'm eliminating the chipotle portion. You guys know I don't really love spicy food, but in the original recipe, it does call for adobo peppers. I will, of course, link the original recipe for you, but let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need some baby spinach, some breadcrumbs, I'm using panko, corn. The recipe actually calls for a cob of corn cut off, the corn kernels cut off. I'm just gonna use canned corn. I'm using extra thin Char Sargento cheese. I have these keto buns. I picked these up only because they had more protein and less calories than regular buns. These are only 50 calories and they're really good. Tori and I had burgers and we tried the buns out and they were delicious. So highly recommend these if you wanna save calories and get in a little bit of extra protein. Of course, some salt and pepper, a pound of 93% ground turkey, avocado, and then spices. You'll need onion salt, 
cumin, garlic powder, and paprika. So to assemble our burgers, super, super easy, I added my pound of ground turkey to a bowl. I'm going to add all of my seasoning, starting with onion salt, cumin, garlic powder, paprika, salt and pepper, and a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. I went ahead and pulled out a quarter sheet pan, sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm gonna dig in with my hands, mix all of this together, and form four burgers. I'm going to go ahead and pop my burgers in the oven at 400 degrees until they're cooked through. So my burgers are out of the oven. These look and smell so good. I am really excited for this for lunch. I'm probably, again, going to pair it with some fruit. I might have some pretzels or something. We'll see. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I've been loving cucumbers and ranch. We'll just have to see where the week takes us, but I'm going to be having a burger every single day. I'll have that on one of the keto buns. And then the recipe calls for you to top it with some fresh spinach, avocado, cheese of your choice, and some corn. So I'm going to top my burger with all of that goodness, and I'm excited to have such a protein-packed, healthy lunch. I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making chocolate walnut cookies. I am so thinking excited for these, so let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. Of course, you're going to need some walnuts, light butter. I'm using Lakanto Golden, which is a brown sugar substitute. I will link Lakanto down below for you with a 15% discount. I'm going to sub regular flour for my Kodiak protein flour. Unfortunately, Kodiak discontinued this flour, which is such a bummer. One of my lovely subscribers sent me a whole bunch. So I have a bunch of bags in my freezer, which I'm super grateful for, but you can make your own protein flour. It's actually really simple. Down in the description box, I'll list how, how to do that and link the protein powder that I use to do my own protein flour if you wanna make yours at home, since unfortunately, we can't get Kodiak anymore. You're also going to need some cocoa powder, baking soda, chocolate chips of your choice. I'm gonna use white chocolate chips from Lily's just for a little spin on the recipe, vanilla extract, eggs, and some salt. So to make the cookies, the first thing we're going to do is add three quarters of a cup of Lakanto Golden and one half of a cup of light butter to a large bowl. Using your handheld mixer, cream those together. Then we're going to add in three quarters of a cup of flour, half of a cup of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, one egg, a third cup chopped walnuts, and 150 Lily's chips. And then we are going to mix that together. I lined a baking sheet with some parchment paper, turned my oven on to 350 degrees. Using a scoop, I'm going to scoop out 10 cookies. The recipe makes 10 chocolate walnut cookies. So I ended up with 11 cookies. I'm going to go ahead and tap them down. I actually had a tiny bit left, not enough for a 12th cookie, but I don't think it's gonna change the points or anything, but I ended up with 11. Shoot for 10, you'll just get bigger cookies than I did. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in my 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh my goodness, these smell so good. It is a bakery in here. These are my chocolate walnut cookies. I am really excited for these. I'm going to let these cool a little bit, package them up, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. And here are the cookies. Again, these smell so good. I cannot wait to have these all week. All of the information is here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. They're all amazing. I can't wait to eat these all week long. Don't forget you'll find my recipe website down in the description box as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. I hope you have an amazing week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.